women are being asked to bear the brunt of neoliberalism because everybody has to work now because wages are low. At the same time, the social safety net is shredding. So women have to do the care work, have to do the wage work. Something has to give. I mean, when you look at the family, um, when you look at the communities, who's doing most of that work? It's women. But we've actually tried to do it in the background. When you look at the church, it's the women doing most of that work. We are facing a Trump presidency because the mass of Americans are dissatisfied. That's what the vote for Bernie indicated. That's what Occupy Wall Street began. We're in a time in which the system isn't working for most people. They know it. They just don't know where exactly to go with. When you talk about you know, capitalism more recently having failed the population, when you talk about the we that is dissatisfied, for us capitalism has never worked. You know, we were the original commodity, right, in the United States when you look at the legacy of slavery. And then when you look at women in general, we were the original commodity worldwide. You know, in terms of the beginning, the, 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 the birth of capitalism was really on the backs and on the ownership of women's bodies. Who are the majority of our caregiving workforce right now? It is a workforce that is um, many women of color, many immigrant women, and one where the average wages are under $9 an hour, and one that is not even protected by our basic minimum wage and overtime laws. When you look at markets, what happens when you include the unpaid work that mostly women do of parenting and housework? What if we gave all that caring, non-market work a value? What would happen to our understanding of market forces and the economy? and what, maybe, would have to change. What we need to, um, to do is to bring specific analytic categories in our study understanding of markets. And those will include race, they will include gender, they will include class. Without explicit articulation of those analytic categories, we can theorize, number one. And then number two, we're not gonna study the problems that are disproportionately experienced by low-income groups, people of color, and women.